Good Friday morning everyone starting out with some sunshine today. How about that after a pretty soggy couple of days and cloudy days as well. However, this sunshine not sticking around all day long. It'll be for the morning hours and then we'll start to cloud things up again later today. Temperatures hovering around the average give or take a degree or two above or below 40. That's the average. We're at 41 in Saginaw, 43 in Flint, 40 in Alma. Bay City at 42. We dropped to 36 in Tawas, 39 in Mount Pleasant and Cairo, 40 as you head out this morning in Bad Axe. So a cool start, but right around where we should be this time of year in the afternoon. No exception. We're looking at 60 for that high today, and that is the average, but that will occur as we're starting to see some clouds beginning to move back into the state with another upper level feature and attached to that upper level feature. We have a cold front that's also going to deliver cooler temperatures for the weekend. So an isolated shower chance today, and that'll be best in northern sections of the lower peninsula. That's that's where most of the better moisture feed will be with this system. Look at the snow developing across the central plain states. Well, if you know it is cold enough to see snow in Kansas, then it's going to be cold enough here as well to finally get a more fall taste in the atmosphere than what we've been seeing the last few weeks. Now, we're not talking about snow this weekend, but maybe next week we could see a couple of flakes flying in the air. We'll detail that here with your seven day forecast. But here's the leading edge of the cool air. Notice it's kind of cool here with the lighter blue showing up, but the brighter blue out west indicates the chillier temperatures down to 25 in International Falls. We're not going to be that cold with this initial push of cold air. It's the next push of cold air coming in from Monday into Tuesday. That's the one that we'll have to watch to get those chilly temperatures and maybe a few snowflakes mixing in with some rain showers all coming in off of Lake Michigan. But again, we'll worry about that next week and not being impacted with your Friday night football forecast with any rain or snow showers, but we could have that isolated rain showers. Temperatures hover into the mid 50s by around kickoff and maybe you're heading out this weekend to some of the local college football games. Michigan back at home. We're looking at the game against Indiana coming up tomorrow. Well, kickoff is around 3:30. We're looking at that afternoon temperature about 50 degrees, but we will see lake effect rain showers and it'll also be breezy, so that 50 is going to feel more like it's in the 40s, so you'll want to grab the sweatshirt for sure in the coat as you head out. Same deal here in East Lansing. In East Lansing, we actually have a better chance to see some of those lake effect rain showers because we're close to Lake Michigan here. Temperatures by kickoff. I believe the kickoff is around 11 or noon. We're looking at 48 degrees and 51 by the time the game is wrapping up was still that threat for a few isolated rain showers. Your seven day forecast. Here we go after the weekend with the 50s. We'll start seeing 40s coming back into the area for high temperatures and that's too warm to support snow. But overnight, look at the temperatures, they'll fall close to freezing, and that's when we could see a few lake effect rain showers, possibly having a few snowflakes in them. I'm not concerned about any accumulations at this point, but it's just a trend to show you how cool things are actually going to be getting over the next couple of weeks.